How's it going everyone? Hope you are all doing well. Before we get started with the build, I just want to give a quick shout out to uh, Terry Allen off of the uh, Truck Bed Camping Facebook group. He's the one that I first saw with this build and gave me the idea to do it. So shout out to Terry. <laughs> and with that out of the way, I guess let's just get started. So we're going to start with the front seat. Um, all you need is just a 14 millimeter. It should just be four bolts and should be pretty easy to take right out. So most of these are plugged, but for some reason, this one isn't. So I think what I'm gonna do is put all the bolts back in and just leave them there for when I wanna put the seats back in. do the same thing with these I'm just gonna screw these back in that way so I don't lose them so Terry he had an extended cab and this is a crew cab I don't think his quite he had this come up as high as it does if I want to be able to sleep here in the back, we're going to have to use every bit of this space. So probably going to have to build a platform where it'll be raised up right here just a little bit. It looks like I'm going to have plenty of room, but um, if you're taller, like if you're, I'm only 5'7", but if you're like six foot, this probably is, this build probably isn't going to work for you. I'm just, just giving you a heads up, but uh, yeah. Well, I went to Home Depot and I noticed that now I do have both of these alarms on after unplugging this, but on the bright side, I can't hear it beeping or anything like that. So, I mean, that's pretty annoying, but I can live with that. The beeping, I don't think I could deal with, to be honest with you. So, got some plywood, some screws. Uh, while I was there, I went on ahead and got them to cut the board for me, so that's done, and uh, I pretty much ran out of time after that, so we're going to get this finished today, hopefully. <laughs> so I've got this Craig jig that I used to make some furniture before, and I'm just going to use that to drill the holes just to secure these little 2x4s for the base. Got a new battery. Should 
should be good for another two minutes. <laughs> Pretty much this is where I'm at. Uh, I went on ahead and cut the board. I couldn't get the whole thing to fit in here so I had to cut it in half. Uh, make it two different pieces. It just wouldn't fit in the truck just because of it being crew cab and having this in the middle. So it's not just perfect but it's good enough. <laughs> I do want to say too, this isn't going to be like a permanent solution or anything. I'm just doing this because I can't really sleep in the back. It's way too uncomfortable and uh, I know whenever I order a camper shell, it's probably going to be like an eight week wait, especially with my truck being this uh, gray color. But I just want this just, you know, to use for a couple weeks and then Hopefully we'll have a camper shell by then. Well, the sheets just showed up. Shout out to Amazon for that one day delivery that you can't beat. Uh, oh yeah. All the gear and stuff that I use, as always, will be linked in the description. If you do buy something, it is an affiliate link, which helps out the channel. Uh, anyways, let's get this thing finished. Just got to get the mattress in and get these sheets on. We'll be good to go. Got plenty of room. Also have, now I have storage underneath. I don't know what I'll put under there, but I'm sure I'll find something. Maybe put some chairs or something like that could go underneath right here under the platform. But, oh, I guess I'm gonna slide in it real quick so y'all can see how much, how much room I've got. It worked. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I know this probably wasn't the best tutorial video, but I tried. Um, if you guys wanna see how this works out, that's probably gonna be next week's video. So be sure to subscribe if you wanna check that out. And like always, thanks for watching and we'll catch y'all in the next one. Take it easy, everyone.